now. The stock in focus is PG Electroplast. It's had a pretty good year, uh, gain of all, oh, you know, over 100 percent. And we're just uh, coming off uh, the festive season, the third quarter. Vikas Gupta, MD Operations at PG Electroplast, is now joining us to give us a, give a sense on, you know, demand. Uh, Vikas, thanks very much for being here with us. Season's greetings and wish you a very happy new year. Now, you know, your product range uh, it pretty much encompasses, you know, a whole uh, variety of uh, electronics from, you know, TVs to, uh, you know, room ACs, etc., washing machines. So, I guess uh, you can give us a good sense in terms of how demand played out as we went through the festive season this year. Uh, what was the overall traction that you th saw in Q3? Uh, good morning and uh, happy new year to you and to the entire team at CNBC. Uh, the festive season uh, was pretty uh, good. Uh, typically, in the festive season uh, leading up to Diwali, the sales for washing machines and uh, televisions uh, pick up uh, momentum. And we were able to uh, uh, cater to the demand of our clients. And we saw a robust growth in our numbers, especially in our television business and washing machine business. So uh, we were happy with the, uh, with the numbers that we achieved in uh, quarter three. Uh, instantly, we are in a quiet period, so I can't give much of the details about the quarterly performance. No, no, I understand. So, won't push you on the number, but just in terms of you know understanding the sentiment, you had a very strong Q2 itself. I mean, in Q2, your top line was up 40 percent. So now, when you compare this festive season over the previous year festive season, is the growth as strong? I mean, are we talking uh, such heady numbers, uh, or would it be uh, you know uh, perhaps a little lower than the kind of growth rates that we saw in the second quarter? Uh, I would suggest that uh, it will be difficult for me to give the specific numbers. Yeah, definitely, we had a decent growth. Uh, exact numbers we'll share with you uh, as and when we are able to do that. Okay. Um, so, good morning. Vikas, good morning. Just to take Surbhi's point forward, right? I mean, earlier you had put out some numbers. So, in the room AC business, for example, you had said that you can generate 1,500 crores of revenues in FY25. Are you on track to hitting that target? And what is the kind of average growth that you see by the end of FY24? Just some ballpark guidance on how things are going, particularly in room ACs. So, uh, Sonam, please understand, uh, in room air conditioners, uh, we, are standing, uh, we are standing with the guidance of around 1,400 to 1,500 crores that we have given earlier. Uh, on the top of it, please understand, uh, there has been a, uh, a moderation in the average selling price for the air conditioners. That has been particularly led by the softening of the commodity prices. There has been a almost 8 to 10 percent uh, moderation in the average selling price of the air conditioners from our side to our clients. And nonetheless, uh, we are hopeful that we should be able to maintain the momentum and raise the level of around 1400 to 1500 crores in our air conditioner business. All right. Hi, Vikas. Good morning. Nigel on this side. Always good speaking to you. I recall in the last few years, the stock is up more than 10 times. So now, you know, the onus is on you to come up with something new to excite the street. And one thing that you all have done is that JV with uh, the Jaina group, right, for TV sets. And you've been quite optimistic on that. I think the last time you joined us, you were telling us that you're expecting it should contribute maybe 250 to 300 crores in the time to come. But I was looking at a brokerage report, that's from Incred, and they're saying that it's going to be challenging for you to ramp up out there because other bigger players like Dixon already has 60% of the market, already has a big capacity as well. So what is your... Uh, you know, volume targets at least that you're looking at. Say by FY25, I think the capacity you'll have is more than a million. You could correct me on that number. But how do you see volume spike up in this TV sets business? Uh, good morning, Nigel. So please understand uh, uh, the JV that we have put up with Jaina Group. Uh, we are quite confident about the uh, about the momentum of growth that we can achieve in our television business going there in that JV company. We are uh, putting up a capacity of uh, a million pieces there. And in first year of full operations, that we are anticipating that we should be able to achieve a revenue of almost around 500 crores in that company itself. Mm. Okay, and in, in million units, uh, how much would it be out of this 1 million that you're going to do? For FY25, so, say, can you do around uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, what will it be? So, I think it should be uh, almost half a million or more than that, that we're talking about. Mm. Um, Vikas, you know, while I know that we can't talk specific numbers, but as you look at closing out FI24 and then stepping into the new year, in terms of your product lines, uh, which one is showing the maximum traction and momentum uh, in terms of a revenue scale up? And is, I mean, is it televisions? Is it going to be room ACs? Room ACs, you, you know, put up that new plant in Rajasthan as well. 
uh, I think it was commissioned very recently. So just tell us the uh, uh, the capacity utilization levels and the ramp up. I mean, how much will you ramp it up as we get into summer? Uh, for us, all the product categories are firing in and we are confident of achieving a decent numbers, a decent growth in our mm. air conditioner business, in washing machine business and electronics business as well. Uh, mm. Our Bhivadi plant in uh, North uh, for air conditioners will start production in this month and we are confident that we should be able to achieve some uh, decent numbers for uh, AC business from our new unit. We are mm. coming up with the window air conditioners uh, from our new unit in Bhivadi which was missing in our product lineup. So that will augment our product offerings to our clients in our air conditioning business. All right, we leave it at that. Thanks a lot, Vikas, for joining in. Have a great 2024. You have generated a lot of wealth for shareholders. I mean, your stock price has more than doubled in the past one year. Hope you continue to do that um, in the days to come.